is a shout out for Deborah Hutchinson. So this is the aloe vera um, MSM spray that you requested. So here's how I did it. Hmm. Oh God, that smells so good. <laughs> wow. Hey guys, it's Bernicia, aka Tiny Flybug, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, and if you're old here, welcome back. So today, um, I had a request to show everybody how I do my aloe vera um, MSM gel. So, um, here we go. <clears throat> Before I get started, please take this time to like, share, and subscribe, and here we go. So, what I do is I usually um, wash off my aloe vera it's not like it, it's not um, a step that you really need to do but I'd rather just be safe than sorry um, yeah I've heard about the um, the yellow poison that um, this has that can cause like itchiness and stuff even though the gel itself does not but um, the yellow stuff does cause um, some itchiness if your scalp is super sensitive so um, <clears throat> I soak it and then blend it later so I'm gonna just take my little bowl and just fill it with some water here and because I have to go to work it's gonna sit here for a while so it can get all of like the yellow stuff and then when I come home from work I'll rinse it off and do it again and then blend it tomorrow. So, um, I take off all the little, little thingamabobblies here, and, huh, this is a big leaf. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And I take it off on this side as well, if I don't stab myself. I try and get it as close to the edge as possible because I want to use as much of the gel as possible. So, I'm so glad that this, the poison stuff isn't like detrimental to your hand. I don't quite see it just yet, um, but it was there. Um, I don't know. can't see it. But ooh, it's already like juicy. <laughs> anyway, so I just cut it off into like little sections and stick it in my water. Some people use um, the skin. I do sometimes. Um, but I won't this time, but people usually do. They dry it out and then they put it in like other stuff and I don't know. I just, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. It just seems like, I mean, I'm sure that there's a, like a lot of nutrients in the skin, but meh. I let that soak in water and actually I'll put some more water over it so that way. It can be pretty submerged in there. And then when I come home from work, I'll rinse it off and then put more. So that's what it's looking like since I'm home after work. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see, but like the water's a little yellowish, so. But it's not too bad. This one was pretty good. So I'm just going to pour off all the rest of the water and then put um, another thing of water over it and then leave it until tomorrow and then 
So it's the next morning and I've rinsed off the water and I've done most of um, the leaves. But I wanted to show you guys, um, it's kind of like a pinkish color and I don't know, like on the DIYs they're like usually like just clear, but I don't know, this one's pink for some reason? I don't know. But I wanted to show you um, a little trick that I found that after soaking it overnight in the water, um, you know you guys in some of my earlier videos you saw me um, basically take a spoon or a knife and just kind of like scrape the ends, which I'll probably do for these. Um, but I got most of it off with, is this the last one? No, I still got a couple more. Um, but yeah, um, a little trick, you just kind of like, oh, whoa, well, quiet. Um, you just kind of like open it with your nail and watch this one not be so easy for me. So you just take it and it just kind of like peels away. Isn't that cool? Wow. I mean, there's still some on there, apparently, but, or obviously, but <clears throat> most of it is here. And it's like, it's not so easy on this side because, of course, you don't have, like, a piece of leaf to hold on to. But if you just, like, kind of take your time and just, like, move your nail back and forth or your finger, it just kind of, like, comes apart. And I don't know if that's, um, I've never actually tried this method before, but I think I might start doing it now because, <laughs> I mean... It's a lot easier to like not lose a knife or a spoon because your hands are slick and you just kind of like, you know, get most of what you need off. Um, but yeah, so that's this dog. He was bad, so he was kenneled. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much how it is. I should probably try and get as much goo <laughs> off of these as I can. I got like two other tiny little pieces here. Oh my god. I ordered some more of these so I can actually change the color of my watch band. Oh! Quiet! He's like, I'm watching because I know you're there and you won't let me out. Okay, this is getting too much. So after that, I'm just going to blend it and add my MSG. Quiet! So after this, I'm just going to blend it. I'm going to add a little bit of water and... I'm going to add some rose oil and some MSM because I used to um, use the um, pills because I didn't know that it came in like just like a crystal form, but yes, it came comes in a fine powder form and a coarse powder form, I think, so yeah. I'm going to put this aloe vera in just a little bit of water so I can just get as much of it as possible since I'm not going to use the leaves this time, but there's still quite a bit of like aloe in there. So I want to like use as, as much of it as Yeah, added some water and I'll finish scraping the rest of all that later because I just want to make sure that I have it all and um, so that no gnats get into the water <laughs> since we have a lot of plants in my house. Um, I just want to make sure that they're not like dying in the water. So <laughs> I'm going to cover it with some plastic and use that later. Alright, so this is it all blended up. It's all frothy and I, that's kind of what like, you know, you want to look for. Um, you don't want to, I mean, I prefer mine as liquefied as possible. <laughs> um, that way I'm not throwing so much aloe away. So then I have my little piece of stocking here <laughs> and a bottle that has faux hair on it. Um, yeah, and so then I just pour and get as much as possible. And so I usually strain it a couple of times. Um, it doesn't actually smell like aloe vera, but yeah, so. Really? I 
guess I'm just going to have to make sure I hold it for this bottle. <laughs> All right, let's try that again, shall we? Oh, thank God I have to strain it again. <laughs> it just became too heavy. All right. Drain on out of there, and since I've used this stocking like a million times, this is the second strain. I'm tweaking my little um, aloe vera spray for my hair, my MSM aloe vera. So um, I bought some petals. Uh, they've been washed, rinsed, I have my boiling distilled water over there, and so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to steam them for like five minutes just to get that aroma and to deaden the um, color, and then drain them, and then go from there. So, here we go. Sorry, little flowers. Sorry. down in there so that they can all kind of like get in the water and there's like I only use like two cups of this distilled water and there's all colors of like you know roses in there so yeah so I'm going to cover that and just let it sit for a few minutes okay we're back so that's what it is looking like. You guys have seen that they were like bright red before and now they're like a purplish color. And so like, that's what the water's looking like. Yay! So, get off of there. Okay, not that that really matters, but okay. So, I have all of my stuff set up. So, I have some preservatives. I've got like a little cheapy little water bottle over there or spray bottle from like the dollar store. I've got my aloe vera that I did before and some um, MSM powder and a bowl so that way I can get it strained. And this is for the preserves because the preserves are freaking thick. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> I'm going to take that. I'm just going to pour it in there. <laughs> and get them all out of there. Hold on, let me get them all out of there. You guys can kind of see what the heck is happening. And then <clears throat> I just want to like press and try and get as much water out as possible because watch out. Because this stuff holds a lot of water. I'm actually gonna like gonna get like all of the water out so yeah I've never actually used the rose water before so if this does really well like on my hair because it's like supposed to soften and condition and stuff um, <clears throat> then I'll start really using that into like my regular routine and it also helps with like mood and depression which I have and yeah so you can also drink this stuff, too. I don't know if I'll be doing that, but... Yeah. So, I want to actually let this cool off just a little bit. And, um, before I start adding, like, the preserves and whatnot. So, I'm going to cool it off and then be right back. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I'm kind of, like, twisted now to a little bit, or to an extent, but, yeah. Um, my phone was dying, so I had to like, you know, improvise a little bit. Rose oil has, oh, rose oil. <laughs> my rose water has been in the freezer for about mm, six minutes. 
and it's definitely like chill now, so that's cool. Um, and because I recycle and don't throw anything away, and I'm probably, I'm sure it drives Matt nuts, um, I have an old Prego thing that this should fit in with, all of this should fit in together. Um, so, um, what I'm going to do is the oil that I messed up, I'm going to put some of this in there. I'm going to use that. And I'm going to add some essential oils just to give it a little bit more like smell for me. Because I I like roses and I like how they smell, but I don't particularly like the smell of roses on me. So, yeah. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is this is the aloe vera that I blended. Oh, and it stuck there. Doesn't smell bad. Still smells pretty pert, so that's great. And it's been in the fridge, so put that in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my rose water into it. So That's a lot, and I still have some left. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm kind of probably going to um, transfer that into this bottle too. So, um, anyway, so I bought some MSM, so that's this might be a little bit easier than um, using the pills that I that I take. So all I'm going to use is half a teaspoon of the MSM powder. I'm just going to put that in there and it should dissolve fairly quickly. I actually tasted a little bit of this because, you know, it's like a supplement. You can like put it in foods and whatnot and this tastes like ass. So yeah, I won't be ingesting that. Um, <laughs> not at all. So. gnats everywhere. Ugh. Crazy. So, I'm going to put, actually, I'm going to put it in this bottle since it's going to be transferred over anyway. Um, just so that's mixed in there. Um, let's just do that. I am, how accurate my aim is. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> anyway, so there's that. And let's see. I'm just going to shake this up. oil in here. I just kind of want to like use it as I go. So I'm going to put some oil, a few drops in there. And of course, yes, oil and water don't mix, but if you shake it up when you use it, it should be fine. Um, yeah. And I'm not going to scent this either. I'm just going to scent what I'm going to use as I use it. So, but I am going to put the preservative in here since this, you know. So, I'm going to use 15 milliliters. Come on, if it will come out. <laughs> if I get it. This stuff is so thick, it's terrible. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yeah, right at 15. Right at 15. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that in there. Ugh. I'm going to just try and get that out of there. There we go. And I'll rinse that off and all that stuff. Ugh. 
See, it's so thick. Oh my goodness. It's still in there. I gotta. This is horrible. I've never actually like touched it before, so this is an interesting little like experiment. If I can just get it all in there. spill that because that ship was expensive. <laughs> so. And since it's in here, I'll go ahead and shake it up. Just to get it mixed in there. Under agitation. Let's see if I'm a better aim, if I'm just as good as aim with this. I'm probably not. You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour some in here. I shouldn't need to add that much. I need to actually get a funnel. And every time I go to the store, I'm like, I'm going to get me a funnel. Yeah, that, that hasn't happened yet. You know, pray for me. That should be enough now. I don't want it to be too much now. Nope, just enough. <laughs> cool. Alright, so I'm just gonna, I just picked two. <laughs> now I can't get it open. Alright, so I'm just gonna put some in here. Moms. Ugh. You know what? That should be enough. Yeah, that's enough. That's way enough. That's so enough. So, and then, ah, I love that smell too. So, come on. Come on. Alright. It's not accurate because I don't feel like taking off the thing and doing all that, but you get the point. So, here and it's off so shake it up and that is my aloe vera MSM spray now I gotta clean up oh so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video Please don't forget to um, click that subscribe button and subscribe, share, all that other good stuff. Please remember to wear your mask, social distance, get vaccinated if you can, um, and I will catch you in the next one.